All right. So this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Uh, this is kind of the end of a stream right now. And what I wanted to do was walk through what I've learned, <laughs> what I've learned uh, in the beta and what I think the implications of all these changes are. So let's start with uh, first change is there are two new characters, Cavallo and Llama. To unlock Cavallo, you need to, I think it's kill 3,000 heads or something like that. Where is it? Yeah, kill 3,000 lion heads. So those are in the library or in the, um, the Green Acres. Kill lion heads, 3,000 lion heads, and you unlock Cavallo. For Llama, and, oh, it survived 20 minutes with at least 10% curse. We'll talk about curse in a minute. But yeah, so you got to survive with curse, and then you got to kill lion's heads. And if you do both of those things, you'll unlock the two new characters. The two new characters, uh, the first one, Cavallo. He starts, he gets more projectiles, so it's similar to, he's basically the same as Mortachio. I think they're, in fact, identical in stats as well. Yeah, they're identical in stats. The only difference is, is that Mortacio starts with bones, so the bouncing bones, and Cavallo starts with the cookies uh, or the cherry bombs. Uh, cherry bombs are a projectile that get thrown out. They bounce, and then they have a chance to explode in a big, uh, a big spectacle firework thing. Okay, so those are the character change. Oh, and then, sorry, and then Llama starts with the axe and gains 5% damage, 5% movement speed, and 5% curse every 10 levels, capping at plus 20% to each of those. So she'll cap out at level 40 with 20% curse, 20% might, 20% movement speed. There is a brand new power-up and a new in general mechanic. This is curse. So curse increases enemy speed, enemy health, and enemy amount, and enemy frequency by 10% per rank, um, which is kind of insane. So basically what this does is that uh, it, it, it completely changes the meta for the leaderboard. It makes the game more difficult, um, but also like, the cap of what you can reach in terms of kills and levels just got raised by a massive amount. And last, there is a new, the weapon, which I already told you about, which is uh, Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb, similar to Bone, has an extremely rare chance of showing up for other characters and then is the default for Mortachio and for Cavallo. Um, oh, also one thing I didn't note was Cherry Bomb. Cherry bomb gets thrown out, it explodes, and then there's a chance that it, or it gets thrown out, there's a chance that it'll explode. That chance is modified by luck. Okay. No new evolves. Uh, there is one other uh, accessory. The new accessory is Skullomatic. It is the curse accessory. So it can also increase your curse up to a maximum of 50%. Okay, so that's the. Very short summary of all the things that have been added. Um, the one last very important thing that changed is uh, the tome bug, which I covered in my last video, has been removed in the beta and will be removed in live today or tomorrow. So it's really, really, uh, today as of uh, February 19th, it'll either be today or it'll be tomorrow, will be removed. So let's start talking about implications. We'll start with leaderboard implications. So leaderboard implications, um, if you stack all forms of curse so skullomatic skullomaniac i feel like skullomatic sounds better skullomaniac straight up curse and llama you can have a grand total of 130 percent is that right no 120 percent sorry 120 percent extra enemies and extra frequency which both stack, so you can have, let me think of both of those, uh, enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency. So 120% plus 120%. It's, 
it's a lot. It's like 300% more enemies in total. So it's it gets really insane, especially because Llama not only increases curse, increases its own movement speed. And movement speed is one of the key things to increasing the number of enemy spawns. The counterpoint to that is they're also increasing in 120% extra speed, which is like scary as hell, especially on hyper, and 120% more health. So they're much harder to kill and they move a lot faster. So what this means is that going for highest amount of levels and highest amount of kills now has the drawback of you'll die much more likely. It's much more likely to die, especially later on in the runs. So um, the leaderboards now become less of a hold right and win uh, because knives are, are really difficult to use now. They just don't do enough damage to wipe out enemies as like they used to. So the meta is going to shift. It's going to be very different builds and it's going to be a very high uh, risk reward um, in terms of like what, what uh, how, long, how likely you are to survive compared to the you know cap on the number of kills you can get and the number of levels you can get. Um, okay, so that's the implications of Curse. Completely shakes up uh, the kill leaderboard, the gold leaderboard, and the level leaderboard. So those three are going to be heavily impacted by Curse, and it is going to be much harder to get extremely high, uh, extremely high levels. Other big change. Cooldown reduction bug is gone. Which, uh, on, the, on the one hand, means that cooldown-based uh, runs for the, um, for the Reaper kill are now going to be easier in a certain extent and harder in another. They're easier because now you don't have to worry about getting all those chests if you max out Rune, uh, Rune Tracer early. Yeah, I think that in the, new, in the new setup for the Reaper, you cannot take Tome. It's going to be a Tomeless run. So in that case, uh, it is going to be a little bit harder. You're going to have to live a little bit longer in the run. And uh, because you won't have the cooldown reduction on Rune Tracer. The reason why is that the 40% the, the reduction in cooldown is going to make the timing almost impossible uh, to keep yourself alive with Rune Tracer, or with, uh, not with Rune Tracer, with... Uh, uh, Lancet, sorry. So Lancet timing is now going to be completely skewed. So if we go through those six again, it's going to be Spellbinder, Candle Labrador, Bracer. That's going to increase, those three combined are going to increase the tick rate and the likelihood that your Rune Tracer hits. Spinach for extra damage, Duplicator for more Rune Tracers, and then Tiragisu for survival. That will probably be the ideal six set. And then you will take Rune Tracer, Bone if you happen to get it. Um, and then you will always have, uh, Le well, not Labora, you'll have Santa Water. And then I would take Knives. I would take Magic Wand. And then you get Lancet and Laurel. So that's probably going to be the setup. Um, and that would put you at, I think you would leave, yeah, you would still take the 5%. So in terms of power-ups, the ideal power-up setup after the beta goes live will be full might, full armor, full health, full recovery, full cooldown, full area, full speed, full duration, amount, movement speed, no magnet, no luck, no growth, full greed, no curse, revival, both rerolls, and skip. So this is the best power-up selection. We already just talked about the best weapon selection. Um, but otherwise, no real changes. Uh, you still perform it the same way. You just don't need to worry about the chest and you just don't take cooldown reduction. You're gonna have to try to survive a little bit longer as a result of not being able to take the tome. All right, so with that, that's kind of a summary of what's changed in the new patch. Hope you guys enjoyed the run for those on, or for the, the video, for those on stream. Thanks for joining live. Uh, you can always join live at twitch.tv forward slash never underscore Nathaniel. 
And if you like the video, please drop it a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, now is as good a day as any to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.